got a big package from Five Below. And I think it's all kitty stuff. Um, let's get in here and see what we got. Kitties are going to help me. Today, to help me, we have Nami. And that's Puma just ran behind there. Sarah, is Sarah going to help today? We got Roxy will help. Roxy. Okay, guys, should we get in here? Yep, let's get in here and see what's going on. Let's, let's, what do we got in here? What do we got in here? What do we have? It's a pretty big box. Who am I going to be the first in? What we got in there? What's in there? <laughs> What's, oh! Roxy. Roxy. Here, Roxy. We might have stuff for Roxy too. I don't know. What's in here, kiddos? It's like Kitty Christmas and Halloween. So this is a doggy toy, but it's purple, so I love it. <laughs> and Kitty's like the fuzzy stuff. Oh, it does have a squeaker. So, but we got that. Let's see what else is in here. Zombie fingers. We got. I'm gonna put this closer. So. You have to find the squeaker. I found it. Yeah, it's just a little one. It's not a great one, but it's better for kitties actually, because they don't like the loud. Mm. Here's some zombie fingers, guys. Got some zombie fingers. Okay, let's un get everything out and then see what how what how stuff works or whatever. I'm not too sure about that purple. Well, it doesn't have any cat smells or any catnip on it yeah. or anything, but she's gonna still go at it. We have a pet fish. That's supposed to be a floppy. Where's number three? Sarah. Fish cows. Come on, Sarah. You're missing the fun. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this isn't cat. This is meditation bowls. <laughs> it's like the Tibetan singing bowls, but if, well, I knew I I expected they might be tiny for the the price, but <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. So I I'm, I'm good with it. It was like three fifty, I think. So I'm fine with it. It's cool. Hi, Sarah. You gonna help? Come here. We got a kitty tunnel. Oh. oh. <laughs> Cat tumbler toy. Can we make a tunnel out of this? Yeah, open that up and oh, we got a little scratcher, so we'll let Lovey do it. Yeah, so this is cheap, but you know, it was from five below, so I didn't pay a lot for it, so it'll be for what we're going to do with it. Of course, no kitten toy collection is complete without one of these. Just here. Oh, these are pretty good size. This is a... Is that the water or the food? That's the food dispenser. Pretty good size there. We'll set that aside for later. Yeah, it's like Christmas, isn't it, guys? And then we got one for water, of course. This isn't necessarily for kittens. This is more for, um, well, the dogs or the big group. Got another bowl. Yeah, you can open it. What is it? I mean, what is it? It's a pet fish toy. It's supposed to flop around. So you can open it and see if you can get it going or whatever while I... Finish unboxing self warming crate mat, and that's folded over, so that's a pretty good size. So, uh, we got a pink one, and is it gray or green? It's kind of a really light greenish gray. Halloween toys. Because how could I? Some 
catnip bubbles. Things over here. We got a pet hut. What does this do? It's got a battery or something in it. Oh, I thought that was a... No. Oh. Okay, do we need to put a battery in it? Okay, well, we'll figure it out in a minute. All right, I'll... You guys, you guys can install that. <laughs> I'll get to it in a second. And we have one of their um, travel pet carriers. So, all right, I'll get this together and get this stuff together and be right back and see how it goes. Okay, this is the travel carrier. Which, um... So I'm not going to be able to hold the thing and put it together at the same time, but I just want to show what wow. it is. So I think this was the quilted. So that's the carrier that you'll be using? Well, I actually ordered quite a few, so I'm not sure which one oh. I'll end up taking them in. But. Is this for three or two? Um, two, this, right? Um, two go out this week. Pardon? Yeah, I'm taking two home this week. So, all right, let me put this together and be right back. Okay, this is a pet carrier for pets under 25 pounds. So, um, it does not say if it's airline approved, but um, I would guess that it probably, well, it kind of, so like this, it looks like it's too tall to go under a seat, but it's smushy, so it probably will be just fine. I think so um, so how so it basically just one continuous zip all the way oh, wow. uh, all the way around um, Boy, you stuck in there then you get something? vent on both sides you and <laughs> they're pretty good jumpers and then you've got the removable floor in here and uh, so I'm not sure what the material is inside. It's sewn shut, so that's not going to be like a run through the washer. So this, um, honestly, okay, it's not like the greatest quality, but it's it's sturdy enough that I think I would trust it to take Carry a kitty it. somewhere. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The zipper, honestly, the, the zipper getting it all together was sticky and not um, not real smooth, but hopefully you don't have to zip that and unzip it too often. You like that? But for, um, oh, Roxy wants to try it. Let's, okay, let's let Puma finish trying it first, okay? Well, I don't have to zip it all the way. See, it's one-handed. It's like, it's kind of a a little bit of a fight with that zipper but um it gives a kitten plenty of room he's got plenty of room in there and i would have to double check the measurements uh, with the airline requirement before taking it on but um oh, i do know it's it. too tall but let's see that would fit like that and then you've got that compartment here to go in and pet the kitty so, there's that. Okay, this is the pet hut. It's in the Halloween kitty stuff. For, oh, for cats and small dogs. So, either or. And it comes with a insertable, removable bed. Now, this is... Um, it's cute. It's a, a get what you get what you pay for type of thing. This is, to me, it feels like foam with a thin fabric cover so it's cute I'm sure the kittens will love it they're probably going to pounce it down immediately um, I don't normally um, get this type of bed because of years and years of um, the cats like to just go <laughs> which is fine because then that's a comfy bed that way um, but so anyway that's what that is Okay, this is a two-pack of cat toys in the Halloween kitties section. We've got the little purple bat 
and I like a candy corn colored mouse and they got the ribbon tails and it does say they have that it has catnip inside and this is the kitty tunnel it was uh, it goes down flat and it has I uh, can't really do this one-handed but you can imagine so it goes flat and then it's got these hooks on here to keep it flat and then it just pops out oh I'm sorry Roxy I didn't mean to do that honey I'm sorry yes, you did. it was supposed to go over there but I can't aim and do anything with my left hand I'm sorry honey okay I'm a I know I'm mean I'm a meanie. What happened to that? To what? Oh, did this come off of here already? Oh. No, it's two toys. They come on, um, I took the card off. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a two pack of toys. Where are you going? Let's get out of the way. Oh, Roxy can play too. She feels left out when she doesn't get to play. So easy for them to play, and you're like, what are they doing? Well, to her, playing means still in their food. Yes. <laughs> so, kitties generally, as a rule, love these pop up tunnels. They what? These pop up tunnels. Uh -huh. I've never had, I've never had any failure with any of them. Honestly, I usually I go to IKEA into the children's section and I get the um they're green and I forget what other color but um they're for the for children. I get those for my um oh. for for my savannas. Yeah. And they're so durable and they're I forget how much they are but they're they're pretty cheap for the considering the quality that they are. And um of course, this one wasn't that much at, at by below, so of course I was just like, well, let's get it and see. But the ones at IKEA for kids, those are, um, those are the long-lasting. They're a lot, they're a lot bigger though too. But they're good for the adults, please. It's just like, it's, <laughs> it's just so much fun to watch them. You know, it's just, um, you know, just a few dollars to give, you know, some new enrichment. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> I first see this thing going all over the house. <laughs> are so funny. <laughs> they were not too thrilled. Well, in defense, in defense of the toy, they have like eight different ones of these at my house, so. Oh. I. It's a, it seriously is a good, that's a good quality one. And that is, a, you know, it, it's a, a great staple to have in any, any kitty toy collection. Mm -hmm. They're just, like I said, they have so many of them at home, but. Now that, that, yeah, I knew the mouse would be nice because that's, oh, that's a, something new. Because they've worn out all the spring toys on mine.
Yeah, no interest until everyone else wanted it. <laughs> and I got to steal it. Now I know how my house is always getting rearranged. <laughs> You what? So now I know how my house is always getting rearranged. Yeah. Have they had their dinner? No. Oh. We do our play sessions before dinner time. So they um, build up an appetite. When Roxy doesn't steal their dinner. I was going to say, she's licking her chops. She can't get up to where it is. Okay. And if she can, you've been babying her way too much. <laughs> that I already know. Okay, so the kitty cat scratcher tower. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a tower, but they did. So, uh, okay, so it's it's pretty simple. It's just two pieces. It's the pole there and the platform. So, and it comes already with that in there. So, I can't see very well right now, so pardon my... <laughs> So you just twist that in. Are you king? Are you queen? Uh oh, you neither nor. <laughs> oh, one's gonna take off. There's so much stuff to explore and check out. Okay, the self-warming crate mats, those are um, triple layered. They fit in most crates, or you know, you can fold them to fit into. Uh, machine washable, which is kind of a must have. Um, and there's the dimensions there. Sorry, my glasses are not reading numbers well right now. <laughs> um, so this comes in this kind of grayish, a greenish gray color or pink and it's a really soft soft baby pink so okay and it does have that crinkle material that's common to the self-forming beds yeah. and it's um it's pretty thick I mean it's I think it's definitely worth the money yeah. and I will stock up and buy some more what is it these zombie fingers are so cute Good pile up here. From the kitchen. No. So this is a treat dispensing interactive tumbler toy. I'm gonna open it. I'm not gonna put treats in it right now because um somebody will just be stealing them all anyway. <laughs> okay, I just kind of snapped together, but. So here's the lever. What did I say I was twisting? Well, no, this is the lever to um, adjust the opening inside. So. What'd you think, Puma? What do you think? Really? You're looking for more?
Okay, we got catnip bubbles. I don't know if these guys are old enough to have interest in catnip, but they've got to have interest in bubbles, so let's give it a go. Okay, the kittens have no interest in catnip bubbles, but I think they're pretty cool. Okay, I have the kittens in their, um, back in our little room having their dinner, so let's try out this water dispenser. Um, it's pretty simple operation. It's, um, where are you with that? But, okay. So it's got screw on, spring load. So that nub would line up there. Oh, sorry. In the lighting. I'm always in the way. I'm in my own way right now. <laughs> anyway, so that the gravity sits on there, allows that to come through. So I'm going to get that filled up and we'll see how it works. Okay, so um, water flows out because um, water naturally does that. It does follow gravity, so that's not a shocker. Um, what we're looking for is making sure that it actually stops at a point. <laughs> I had a lot of others in the past who, uh, where they they do this nicely and then they just keep going. <laughs> And then the kitty's area gets flooded, and that's just not pretty, so. All right, the bubbles have stopped, and it seems to be holding. Okay. Well, this is 118 fluid ounce um, capacity, which is through 3,500 ml. Um, Well, now I can tell you my cats are going to knock that over. Um, my savannas will anyway. Alright. Well, when I get home, I'm going to put this with a group of mouths. But um, I'm I know a savanna is going to knock that over in a minute. So, but they're, you know, savannas are, if you're, <laughs> no, I'll get into that right now. Savannas are just very busy, active. <laughs> That's that. Okay, there's also the uh, gravity food dispenser. It's the same, basically it's the same base. It has, the, see it's this, you know, they save money by using the same mold and that's nothing wrong with that. So, um, but the bottom, the bottom's wide open, which is fine because you want the food to be able to flow. And then you've got the top fill. I'm not going to demonstrate right now, but uh, you fill it up with your kibble, and the kibble comes out the bottom, and as they eat, gravity allows the food to flow, because that's how gravity works. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see the need to demonstrate that, but, um, but that's what the dish is, and they say it was three pounds, so I'm not going to dispute that or, or test that. It's just, uh, looks like it, uh, about what a three pound bag of kibble is, looks like what that would hold. So, good enough. Okay, we unfortunately won't be able to demonstrate the floppy fish toy today because, um, no, here, let me show you what it's. So, pardon my mess. <laughs> so, it's a, uh, well, pretty good sized fish. Um, it did have their attention, and then it has, this was inside of it, and so um, it goes like that, and then it would, when you put batteries in it, I can't demonstrate with one hand, <laughs> anyway, so that goes um, back and forth and flops, makes the fish flop around, however, we don't have a screwdriver that tiny. Um, well, I probably have four of them at home, but I'm not at home. 
and um, I'm sure I could go grab one at Dollar Tree, but I'm not going out to Dollar Tree tonight. So we're just going to call that good and say, we like the idea of it. We love it. The idea of it, but they made it so, you know, a standard household doesn't necessarily have, it's like the jewelry size screwdriver or maybe, or maybe from an eyeglass repair kit but we don't have one of those to look at either. So anyway, it's just, um, you know, there's, there's a standard, you know, general box of tools here, but nothing that small, um, can get in there and get that. So unfortunately we're just going to have to, um, we might add it to another, throw it in another time, but Thank you.